At this point, Kyron's been gone. He's now missing for over two weeks. And Terry's reputation takes another hit. Uh, a landscaper that she had hired to do some work around the house told police Terry had paid him or offered to pay him $10,000 to kill her then husband, Kane. Take a look at this. The search for Kyron Horman has now revealed accusations of a murder for hire plot. The landscaper tells investigators Terry Horman offered him big money to kill her husband, Kane, Kyron's father. She offered him some collateral, which he refused. If Terry is able to do something like a murder for hire, that she's definitely capable of having my son abducted from the school. There is alleged murder for hire, which shouldn't happen. That's completely false. They found the landscaper because when they asked me, has there been anybody unusual at your house? And I said, oh yeah, I had this landscaper for a few times when it was questioned in court. The landscaper backtracked really quickly, even during his deposition. He stated that I never did ask him. From what I understand is that he was threatened, that if he did not cooperate the way that they wanted him to, he and or his family would be deported. So there goes your story. Okay, did you hire or attempt to hire someone to kill your husband? No. Did you wish your husband dead? No. You didn't want him killed? No.